So West Red Lake is a development company based in, in the Red Lake region of Canada. Look a little bit on the, the backstory. You know, a lot of companies here are, are early stage developers, exploration stories. We're really a developing story. You know, we bought an asset that has over $350 million of uh, infrastructure already in play. The, uh, the idea is to get into production very quickly. It's permanent. It has a mill. It has um, a team in place. Uh, we need to do a little bit of drilling, spend a small bit of money, but then we're back in production. And Frank is their main shareholder, Frank Tustra. He's done this a number of times, which is the buy and build strategy. So using that over the next number of years in a rising gold price to really grow a mid-tier Canadian miner. We really have two projects. One is our Rowan property and one is our Madsen property. 2023 was all about Rowan. That was an early stage project we took over. We spent most of last year drilling on the Rowan property. So we've had some very, very high grade hits on Rowan. And 2024 is all about pivoting across to Madsen. We only really took over the project in June. So we just got there, we got underground, we're doing some development. And the plan really is 2024 to drill and really show people the, the value that's in the Madsen project as we drill it out. Yeah, Rowan has really been around. Both of those are historical mines. Way back in the 30s and 40s, they were both operating mines, both underground operating mines in the Red Lake region. Um, Rowan has always been an early stage exploration project. The previous operator, which was West Red Lake before we got involved, was really an early stage exploration and was really just advancing that and drilling it. Madsen, on the other hand, was a company called Pure Gold. And they, were, they built the mine, they operated, they got going. Unfortunately, COVID hit them and they went into care of maintenance. They've spent over $350 million on the project and really we've picked it up for $6 million. So it has all the infrastructure in place, tailings, permitting. So it, it has everything that you need to build a mine, basically, without, without all the issues associated with that. So Madsen really is all about this year. We need to get in underground, do the development work and get in and really drill out the deposit. The previous operator didn't spend enough time and effort on drilling out the deposit. Our approach is a little bit different. We're going to step back, understand the geology, spend the time drilling the deposit. We'll have some very, very good results as we do that this year. And so to just drill it out this year, do the development on the ground and plan for a 2020-25 restart. So in 2024, what we've done is we've been drilling row in all of 23. We're now going to take a step back. We're going to take all the data and do an updated resource 24. And then in the back half of the year, when we have an understanding, really do another round of drilling in the back half of 24. So in the 24, drilling Matson and drilling Rowan, they're the catalysts. So current cash position is about $12 million at the moment. So most of that money, that won't take us, uh, we have to spend about $50 million to get this mine back into production. Um, so we will raise, need to raise some more money to, to do that. However, with the backers we have, the likes of Frank Duster and the team we have, we feel that's no problem to raise that money. That money will get us to the middle of this year. So at the back end of back half of this year, we'll have to raise some more money. Yeah, so gold price is in a good place. If you're a producer, gold is at $2,000 an ounce. Most of the AISC is around $1,200, $1,300 an So the producers are making good margins. So the gold price has held up very well in the, in the raising of interest rate that the Fed has done, which have been the most historic rate rises in, in history, and they've held up very well. So I believe as we get into the back half of next year, we'll have a lot of pivot of the Fed. We'll have some reduction, and we'll have a recession. And I think once that happens, People will understand the path forward on interest rates, and that's where gold will go. Gold historically moves opposite to interest rates. So as interest rates come down, gold price is going to rise. So yeah, what they should keep in mind is to build a successful company, you need a number of elements. You need a team, you need a project, you need good financial backers. And you need a project that can get quickly the cash flow. We believe that we have all those in the backers in Frank Juster and the team. 
we have a team, myself and the team have put together mining engineers, mining background. We have good ability to get into cash flow quickly. Yeah.